just another year, or do you feel different yeah, after being in the NFL for a couple of years? Yeah, it's just another year for me. Um, I don't really celebrate. I'd rather just chill, hang out with my family, stuff like that. But um, the Lord gave me another year. I'm, I'm grateful for it. Has it felt like you've had a lot of time off from playing on the field? Because it's going to be 19 days by the time you play. Yeah, yeah it feel like it's been forever. I feel like this is a whole new season already. So just get ready for the 2020 season. Get, get ready for it early. What did you think of uh, Drake's shout-out? Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. You know, I've been, I've been talking to Drake for the longest. So... You guys don't know that, but uh, I've been talking to him for long, so it was pretty cool. I've seen it, everybody been telling me, so it's dope. It's great. Well, what does it mean to you to have that kind of cultural, you know, importance? You've got him, you've got Al Pacino talking about you, it, just to enter that realm of popularity. Man, it's, I, it, it don't be hitting me sometimes, you know. Um, with all those guys knowing me, you know, um, saying good things about me, um, I just cherish it, but I be focused on football, so I don't really try to get caught into it, trying to meet him and stuff like that. Or any fear when you're in a mall and all these people are starting to swarm around and you're not sure how you're going to get out. Sometimes that can get a little bit scary, like it Tyson. No, 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 I ain't scared. I'm, I'm never scared. Um, I'll be chilling. I, I'll be with the crowd. I'll be having fun with the kids. But if I'm shopping and I want to get what I get, I just tell them just, you know, wait the next time or something. On a serious note, how's your plan been going for this playoff game? I know you're, you know, super focused after last year. Um, It's been going good. Uh. We locked in. Um, we, we know we're getting ourselves um, into right now. Um, we know it's a good team. You know they're hungry just like we are. Um, they've been on the road, so we just got to do what we do, play ball. Lamar, what do you tell yourself about this game? What do I tell myself about the game? So, uh, every game is serious. Um, every game is important. Um, every regular season game was important. And like I said, you know, every playoff game is a Super Bowl because it's do or die. You know, you win or go home. Teammates. I don't say nothing. You know, they just we feed off each other. Really, you know, it don't really be too much said by me. You know, it be other guys. You know, talking around in the room and stuff like that. But I just let my play do the talking. What was the biggest learning lesson you took from the Chargers game last year? What was maybe like the biggest surprise you came out with, or the biggest note to yourself? You can't start too late. Uh, you know, you gotta attack fast. You know, um, it don't really matter what court it is, what you. First or second, you know, you got to attack. You got to just finish the game strong. You can't just go in the game playing half, you know, half ass and uh, it, you had the same results. You said you feed off each other. How would you describe that process in the locker room? Like, uh, say, say something big, had like a big play or something like that happened, you know, during the, on the field. One of the guys said, Mark Ingram made a big play. Um, it just turned everybody else up, you know, give us a lot of energy, make everybody else want to make plays, stuff like that. Mark, given that you haven't played in a regular season game in a little while now, how do you kind of fend off the rust and get off to the hot start that you're talking about? Uh, we got that little, that week by, um, got a little maintenance, you know, from the um, training staff. Uh, got my guy, got Willie Snead, um, we, we came in just through, just to get some more rust off, um, and just go to practice and treat it like it's a game, try to get better. Mark, is that picture or screenshot of you in the green room? Yeah. And then this stuff going on about how much you've accomplished now in your NFL career. What can people learn from you? Uh, that, well, that, that picture that been floating around when I was in the green room, my mom, her voice was gone that night, and she couldn't speak. So I was listening to what she was saying to me. So that's what that was. I don't know where all the other stuff came from. But, you know, I'm just, like I said, you know, um, I'm bringing the Super Bowl here. That's, that's my goal. That's, that's what I want to do. Um, I've been wanting the Super Bowl ever since I was a kid. You know, that's why I play the game, because I want to win. So we we just gonna approach it just like any other game. Well, Mark, you talked about remember from playing the Titans last year, you weren't the starting quarterback yeah. at that time. How different is it as they haven't seen you as a starting quarterback for the first time? How, how different do you think that would be? Um, I, I really can't call it because you know I was last year I was really getting in for like run plays and stuff like that. I really didn't throw the ball probably just once or twice, but um, I, I knew they knew what was coming last year with, with that same play. You know I kept we ran it every time I was in. So. Um, but I, I really can't tell it right, like call it right now because we haven't seen them. We haven't played them not once this year, so we got to see. Well, you guys have been solid situation in football. I mean, what have you done in the red zone has been fairly amazing. You know interceptions. Is there something about the confined spaces where it brings out the best? Because obviously you complete passes in the red zone from top eight different armies. Yeah, um, we, we overemphasize that in practices. Um, we, we make it a key point. You know, um, last year, uh, we, we used to drive the ball down the field and would not score any points in the red zone. We have Tuck coming on the field a lot, 
And the same thing at the beginning of the season, besides the Miami game, stuff like that. We, we started doing the same thing, falling back from last year. But we get in practice and we like we got to score in the red zone. Like we're doing a great job driving the ball downfield, but we got to finish. And our goal was to finish, and that's what we've just been having a lot of success. What version of these things you did differently or, or, or trying to do in those practice drills to replicate how crazy it is when you're actually playing against a defense that is trying to get you? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Coach Wings will do a good job at, you know, this, well, he used to disguise crazy bitches, you know, during OTAs and stuff like that. And it just helped me out a lot, knowing what guys would be at, knowing the area of the field, um, just get the ball a lot, where my receiver can get it or no one can. You said earlier in the season about playing street ball with Mark Andrews. Is it still like that? Or are you guys well, talk about the rapport that you've uh, developed throughout the season, usually being a receiver and a key Yeah, uh, we just, like you said, you know, we've been playing street ball. But not just with Bart, you know, it's all got all our guys. You know, we just getting a lot of chemistry as the season went on. We just got a lot more comfortable for the feel of the game. You know, we, Mark do a great job at reading the defense, knowing when they zone and you know they, he have room. And I fill it out because I'm dropping back and I'm seeing it, so I just throw in the window and he just do whatever he do. It means a lot from, from a player like him, you know, his, his status to, you know, come in and treat, treat me just like, you know, I was Drew or somebody, you know, even though I'm not a um, long way from Drew, but um, it, it's a family thing. Like I always say, it's a brotherhood here, and it, it's just great. I, I love having Mark here. I'm, I'm glad he's here and not anywhere else. Well, we've asked you different points of the season about not taking hits and deciding when to get out of bounds and stuff. Does that calculation in your mind change now no, I'm just going to play ball. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to, you know, make it less thinking. You know, I'm just going to go into the game just like it's any other game, but knowing it's do or die. Mar, I know you were asked about the, the layoff and, and possible rust factor. I mean, is there any concern for you having that long layoff of having rust early in that game? No. No. I'm good. My team good. We, we trying to win it all. Have you had a chance to see the Titans and what about the defense. Yeah, defense pretty good. Um, the corners do a pretty good job. Secondary pretty good. Um, they got a safety. Um, 24, 24, he's a thumper. He like to come down um, and hit 54. is great. Um, second year player, he's a great player. Evans, he is. Um, we just got to do us, play football. Well, Marshall talked last week about how the team is kind of rallying around you and that, that you raise everybody up because they have confidence in you. Do you feel that, the, the, the team kind of rallying around you? And, and how do you kind of handle that? Uh, I don't really look at it like the team, you know, right around me. You know, it's we, we all want to be great. You know, we all want to win, and I, I feel like um, the guys upstairs did a great job of putting us together. You know, we, we've been having a great season, and we all chasing that same goal. And nobody is cocky. You know, everybody come in the same way we did. You know, from OTAs. So that's the thing you want to have around here in this locker room. Well, Mark, I'm going to ask you about the Ross part of the rest versus Ross. But having these three weeks off, how important is that been to you? And how you feel heading in the playoffs? Very important. Um, it lets our body recover from all those hits and grinding we was doing throughout this whole season. Um, let us reflect back on, you know, get extra extra time to watch whoever we had to play. Um, it, it just gives us that comfortability, whatever. So we, we good. I'm just ready to play.